This video is part of a series looking at the Boris Continuum 3D Objects category of filters. And what we're going to look at now is using After Effects masks on the extrusions created by BCC 3D Objects. So here I'm creating a mask and it's just going to be a straight line with a start, middle, and end point there. I'm going to set my side style to host path and select that mask as my host path. And now you see if I pull on this point, you can see if you watch the extrusion, here let me rotate it a little bit so it's clearer, you can see that that mask is defining the contour of the extrusion. Try it like this, see how it's updating as I move the mask around. Um, maybe make it a, uh, a rounded edge there. I can add a point and so on. So you know what you want, you want a mask, it's going to make most sense obviously if it's a mask that is an open contour rather than a closed shape um, because what it's going to do is bend the, uh, the side face of that extrusion um, to meet the curve of the mask. So I'll just rotate this around so you can get a good look at uh, what we just created there. It's a bit more interesting than just the flat side depending on the, uh, the context of our effect here roll it all around in 3D. I'm using a an AE null layer that I've linked um, the rotations to my extruded object so I can manipulate it on screen. That's shown in a previous video in the series how to do that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to save this curve we made as a preset. So here I'm just going to overwrite an old preset. Um, and here's some presets I've already saved previously. Let me tumble that back so we can get a look at it. Basically once you've set this up with an AE mask, then you can save it for reuse within the filter. So here's the one, a couple different ones previously saved, and now there's the one we just made just now. Um, and that's really useful because the thing is, I can now reuse that curve um, in any extrusion effect in BCC 3D objects. And you see here I'm deleting the mask. Once it's a preset, it's actually no longer referencing that mask file so you can use it um, on any layer where you're where you're using one of these extrusion filters. See there's straight and then here's the save preset we just created. And the same feature can be applied to the bevel of extrusions. Another way we use AE masks is to define the text path for text on a path kind of effect when using the BCC extruded text plugin which is what we have here. So here I've just drawn another mask and I'll just select it, set to AE mask, and there you can see <clears throat> that my path is acting as the baseline for the text. Here in letter transformations, I can, might want to adjust the tracking a little bit. This baseline, I'm going to set it to 50 so that the path kind of runs through the middle of the text rather than the center. I can position it on the path here using this parameter, and this is an angle to path parameter that is useful as well. So again, you know, we're able to use the the AE mask um, to basically lay out these text characters um, on a path. And of course the nice thing is um, the fact that it is an AE mask it's still editable here um, at any point because it's referencing that AE mask and you have all your spline tools right there to uh, to make changes or add a new path or anything like that and the text will just uh, will update accordingly.